Wow, I picked a sunny afternoon to go to the kitchen table. So this is Miner 3 right here. It's an AGP rig. Um, I just put in, um, I swapped out an old card, an old 1060 uh, 3 gig card so that I could simplify the, the flight sheet on this rig. This right here, there we go. This um, GeForce RTX 2070 blower style. Um, it's a Zotac OEM. Uh, for for Lenovo boxes, mm, I got it for a cheap price. It only does 43 mega hash, so yeah, so so. Anyway, um, real quick tour through the system. I got two RX um, 580s here. I got my my three Nvidia's right there. I've got an RX uh, 480 right there, and then I got two more AMD RX 580s here. So. You may say, well, why, Brian, why did you put the, the NVIDIA cards in the middle? Because is it a cooling thing? Nope. So right there, those numbers, those numbers tell me what slot uh, it shows up in in the uh, in Hive OS. Uh, so what I did is I, I put all my AMDs uh, together, and then I put my three NVIDIA cards right here. Uh, put those two, to, put those three together as well. That way, they just stay in in uh, sync with each other. Uh, the, cust the all the wiring is custom built, um, 16 gauge. Um, and I will tell you, after listening to a recent uh, interview with the CTO of of Octominer, I will not do that again. I will do 18 gauge uh, wires. Uh, all of my connectors are soldered. Uh, just to make sure they're extra good 140 millimeter fans in the back I'll show you on the back side in a second all those wires go around to two um, x6b breakout boards from parallel miner these happen to be using the uh, Dell 1400 watt power supplies that really overkill for this for this rig this right here it, it's a what I've got here is I've got a, a simple Y cable put a link to that down below um, this is the adapter you get when you buy your your 1400 watt supplies from uh, parallel miner the reason why you need that adapter is because they come with that stupid plug right there I'm not suggesting you do this but if you if you don't like that stupid plug and you don't like adapters you can get a c14 receptacle and with a little bit of time in, the, in a soldering iron, you can replace it. That's what I do to all my um, 1400 watt power supplies. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and let me put the top back on. I'll screw this on in a second. But if I walk on around to the side, there's your, there are the four um, 80 millimeter, I'm sorry, 100. And 40 millimeter pan, fans, they uh, they to combine they do about 320 cfm. Uh, not bad. Uh, I, I would like to. I'm going to build one more of these cases. I have four of these right now. I'm going to build one more of these. And what I want to do is I want to take this space right here and get it a little bit tighter. Okay. I don't. Uh, I just. I don't quite need all of this space at, here. That's really is a waste because it's not forcing the. The air across the GPUs, so I really want to kind of tighten that down. I may even put a, a little bit of an air block in there uh, before the summer gets here. Anyway, that is the uh, that is the BTC S37 motherboard down there. Buy those off of eBay. About 155 bucks uh, as of today, March uh, the, the 10th, I think it is. All right, let me button this thing up. I'll put the screws in it.